Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited that you're here with me today to show you the results of my 60 day neck smoothing treatment with this wonderful product. It's the Dr. Brandt Needles No More Neck Sculpting Cream and it comes with this little bagua stone. I showed you the beginning when I started the treatment about 60 days ago and I'm going to show you my progress over the 60 days and I think it's rather amazing. And if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in the little tips and tricks that help us all age our absolute best, then I hope you'll consider subscribing. And when you click that little bell, that just notifies you of my future videos for us 40, 50 plus beauties. Okay, let's get down to this. This is this little cream. And as you can see, I've totally gotten to the bottom of the jar in 60 days and it's rather pricey. I think it's just under $100, but to me, it seems to do the trick. And I won't do a demonstration of this cream because I've shown you that in a couple of other videos, but to make a long story short, you basically just take a tiny little bit of this cream, smooth it all over your neck, and then you use this little bagua stone, which is a rose quartz stone that isn't included, and you just take up like this with that cream on your neck, like 10 that way, 10 this way on the other side, 10 through the middle, and it is supposed to smooth out your neck. And I'll read you the claims here. The results to expect, it reduces skin's fatty appearance below the chin, supposedly. It moisturizes and replenishes skin for a tighter feel, and it supports circulation for a more tight and lifted appearance. It says after just one use, it increases skin's hydration on the neck by 104%. And after four weeks of use, they said that 100% of people in their study showed an improvement in skin elasticity. And they said after eight weeks of use, 82% reported that their skin looked more toned and more firm. And I'll show you my pictures here. And here they are. In the first picture 60 days ago, I had quite a few little neck wrinkles and kind of bags and sags. And 30 days in, I thought I saw some pretty good improvement. The neck skin had smoothed out and the wrinkles had definitely smoothed out. And this morning at 60 days, as you can see in the final picture, my neck skin looks firmer. The bags and sags are largely gone and the wrinkles have smoothed out even more. And I really do love this cream. And quite honestly, I was not expecting it to work. And I'll put a link below the video to my first couple of videos about this product because it is kind of a game changer for me. Although I do have to say that I have some nodules in my thyroid. They're not cancerous, thank the Lord. But I am not going to be continuing with this until I get those nodules taken care of. And I'm trying to shrink those thyroid nodules through diet. And I'll let you know how that goes in a future video. And again, if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in that little bit of health-related information on taking great care of our thyroid, then please subscribe. Would love to have you. Now, before I end this video, I wanted to show you some great products that I was sent in PR. And as those of you who have been along with my channel for a while know, I tell you the truth about how I feel about these products, either love or not so much. Maybe hate, I guess that's too strong a word. But the first product, I realize I need some more blush on, so I'm going to show you how this one works. All three of these makeup products were provided to me by the Pure Makeup People, and I really like them. I was so surprised. This little blush palette was definitely a fave, and it ranges from the darkest fuchsia here, which would be great if you have a dark skin tone. In fact, this palette really works for about every skin tone, to a little bit lighter fuchsia, lighter still with a little bit more warmth in it, and a very warm kind of an orangey coral here. And I love this because you can mix between them and I tend to err on the side of going towards fuchsia and I like those colors, but really I look better when I add a little warmth to that. So let me add a little blush and I'll show you how this works. And what I like to do is take these two blush colors here and I just kind of put them on like that. Just kind of tap the brush off. They're very pigmented. They last beautifully but look at that lovely blush color. Absolutely love that. I have been using this palette all week long, and the more I use it, the more I love it, because I realize it allows me to get that custom color look. Now on my face, I have this pure mineral makeup, and amazingly, I have never used mineral makeup before in my life, but I love this. It is absolutely beautiful and very natural looking. And quite honestly, I was surprised by that because, well, I am over 50, I will say it that way. And I have never used mineral makeup because I always thought that this powdery kind of a finish, and there it is, would make me look drier and dustier. And I don't need dry and dusty at my age. What you do is you basically take a large fluffy brush and you circle it in the product 
and then you just buff it all over your face. It's super easy. It takes just a few minutes and it leaves you with this wonderful smooth finish. I don't know if you can see that on my face, but it absolutely looks young and lovely and amazingly it gives you fabulous coverage and if you have some areas like around your nose for instance as I do that are a little bit red you can dip in again and buff out those areas a second time this is a buildable foundation and the most amazing thing is it gives you great coverage but it looks totally natural and the last product that they sent me is this pure love your selfie 3 eyeshadow palette actually it's kind of an all-in-one palette because it includes the eyeshadows and look at that cute little thing there. It's got all these little spangles in it, which is absolutely darling, but it has all of these eyeshadows here. It has a highlighter, it has a blush, and it has a little bit of bronzer down here, and it even includes their mascara. And of all of this, I absolutely love this palette. Didn't care for the mascara as much. It just kind of wasn't my thing. It didn't give me the fullness that I get out of some of my other mascaras. It's a great everyday looking mascara though, I have to say, but I absolutely love these eyeshadows. I have them on right now. And again, I've been wearing this all week long at work to test it out. And I really love this palette. In fact, it is now one of my favorite palettes. I just love this shade as a lid shade. That's what I have on my lid. And then I used this shade, which as you can tell is very highly pigmented. Use that in the crease area, but first I went in with this witty color to start out the crease because I find that when you go in with a lighter crease color and then just use the darker one a little bit in the outer V area, it just looks more blended and more natural. That's what I did on my upper eye. And then amazingly, I came in with this blue color called Courageous and did a little bit on the outside corner and then I use the witty color all along the lower lash line to kind of blend that in. I find a little pop of color down there sometimes makes your eyes look even more poppy, which is just a great thing. Pure is not a brand that I'm all that familiar with. I will definitely keep using this eyeshadow palette, the blush, and this mineral makeup. Now I was also sent a fragrance product and this is very iffy with me ladies I have to say because everything I put on my skin usually smells like stems like the green stems of plants it will say florals and it will smell like stems on me and so I'm really not the best person to send perfume samples to because things don't tend to smell good on me and unfortunately this little cologne really did not smell that good on me although it is a wonderful concept the company is called Skylar and if you're interested in natural products with no parabens, allergy-free, cruelty-free, vegan products, then this is a wonderful brand for you to check out. And apparently Skylar has a lot of buildable, more natural, clean fragrances, which I really enjoy. And I thought I would really like this one because it has tuberose and jasmine and orange. I love the orange scent because it's like an antidepressant. It makes you feel good. And I absolutely love jasmine because my grandmother Gigi used to wear jasmine cologne. And I kind of like this, but it was a little bit too heavy for me. I have it on right now, and so I have to go very, very light with it. And if you also like jasmine, but you like your scents a little more dramatic, a little more sophisticated, you might give this one a try. Okay, we covered a lot today from neck improvement to makeup to fragrance, and I always like to leave you with a little thought to think about. So I'm going to be drawing a card from this Language of Letting Go card deck from Melody Beatty. Let's see what God wants us to think about for today. Ooh, setting deadlines, setting deadlines. I'm putting the card back here because the focus is a little bit out there. Today I will consider whether a deadline might be helpful in some area of my life. I claim divine wisdom and guidance in setting appropriate deadlines for resolving any issue that might be lingering in my life. Hmm, I'm not sure about this card, setting deadlines. You know, I think this is important, especially for those of us with certain goals in mind, but really in terms of my life, I think I set too many deadlines. I have too many goals out there, I always have. So really in my second half for me personally, I'm trying to learn to set fewer deadlines. I am trying to learn to go with the flow more and just enjoy life, to enjoy every moment. But you know, I think there are two camps of people, those who never set a deadline and really need a little more structure in that area, and those who are too type A and set too many deadlines and need to relax and calm down. I am in the latter group. So for me, the only deadline that I want to set right now is to enjoy this moment, to enjoy this day, and to truly enjoy my second half. Take care. See you next time.